We've already seen a decent amount of snowfall and we're not even a month into winter. Katie Zuniga compared our snowpack from this time last year. Katie, what did you find? Lee, we got a good start to the winter with most of the state at more than 100% of average precipitation. However, with our years-long drought status, this does not mean we're out of the woods yet. In fact, we're in bad shape. Not everybody had to shovel snow with the last winter storm, but we've all seen some snow this winter season. The previous three weeks, we had a tremendous uh, set of storms that hit the Cascades and in Central Oregon and boosted that snowpack from where it was in the middle of December. It's almost at record lows. Right now, our snowpack is 126% of normal, and our water precipitation is at 108. This is good. However, this time last year, our highest drought level was extreme. This year, several areas east of the Cascades are in exceptional drought. We're worse off now because of that, the last summer conditions and the lack of precipitation and temperatures that we experienced this past, past year uh, really put us in a deep, deep drought conditions. Here's what we're looking at with our five main reservoirs, with Crane Prairie being kept high for the spotted frog. This time last year, we were here. Today, we're here. In current conditions now, Wikiup Reservoir is at a record low level for this time of year since it was constructed. Take a look at this. With no shoes on, I'm about 5'7". Average snowpack at around 6,000 feet for this time of year is about five and a half feet. With the fantastic winter we've had so far, we're at more than seven feet. However, we could use two to three more winters at 126% of normal to get us out of drought. Our key date that we look for is April 1st. So between now and April 1st, we need average or above average conditions to start and begin that process of recovering from the drought. So we're not, we're not out of the woods yet. According to the National Weather Service, December and January were predicted to have above normal precipitation. Looking ahead through the end of winter and into the start of spring, the Weather Service says we could expect a near average accumulation.